We've got all-star Taiwan Walker on the bump for the Mets in Pittsburgh, looking to repeat what he did in the first half where he had a 2-5-0 ERA, just been lights out this season. And this one is brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do to let him know that I sent you second pitch of the game for Taiwan, and he gets the first out. And that's beautiful. But things get ugly right afterwards as that outside fastball is flared down the line into the corner, and we're going to get a stand-up double. Woo! Then next batter, curveball, takes that one down the right field line, and the Pirates score a run, and this kid is getting handed a broom from his dad, and he says, let's sweep him. And dad says, yeah, I'm glad I brought this out. This is going to be fun. Next, ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four, first and second now. First pitch, no go, sends that back into the same corner. That's going to score one run. That's going to score a second run. Oh, man. Base is clearing double. Does he step on second base? I don't think he did, but no one cared. No one challenged it. He was uh, chatting with Stroman earlier in this series. Now he's all pumped up. Next one, ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four. Polanco walks. Polanco steals. Second base, ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four. Uh Uh-oh, base is loaded. Only one out. Here's where it gets really funky we get a swinging bunt down the line goes to just touch it and say that's foul um says no that's fair now everyone's gonna round the bases as no one's playing the ball three run bunt single here's the view that the umpire had you can see the angle that he has it's kind of similar to the angle we have with this camera replay and i mean it starts foul it's coming fair and taiwan knows it's coming fair so he knows he's got to touch it before it's officially fair, because as soon as he touches it, that determines where it is, fair or foul. And I have no idea, man. Just no idea. If you're a Pirates fan, you see it with one set of eyes. If you're a Mets, you see it with another. As a unbiased third party, I just have no idea. I just think this camera angle doesn't tell us anything. And the ump surely didn't have a view that he could pinpoint that. But Taiwan flips it in the air and I think it's too risky to do that. You got to keep that in your glove. Kudos to the third base coach for waving everyone home, reading the play perfectly. He waves him home. He waves the next guy home. Taiwan goes to collect the ball. By that time, it's too late. Ooh, they score. He's going to start yelling. He's like, no fucking way, man. That's fucking horse shit. That was fucking foul. And the umpire, he doesn't want none of it. But Roas comes up, and they... Lost in heartbreaking fashion the night before. Now this game starts off heartbreaking fashion, so Rojas is all fired up. But yeah, I mean, look at this view. I got no idea. You could show me another angle where that's touching white, or you can show me another angle where there's the tiniest sliver of dirt in between. Who knows? Here's the other angle that Taiwan had. Now, he had a better angle than the ump. It's still too risky to just flip off, but managers all sorts of fired up. He starts yelling and screaming at the ump. Maybe he's asking him to ask the third base ump who should have a better view. They get chest to chest, face to face. He starts dipping and dodging. We got the other ump now coming in. He's going to play some defense. Good defense, might I add. Now, is that the pitching coach? He plays defense too. The umps gather up and they say, I think we got everything, you know, pretty good here. I'm happy with it. All right, let's go tell him. He says, yeah, no, we're, we're pretty happy with everything that we did. You want to review it? Could the Mets have reviewed this? I mean, it's so inconclusive. I guess you're not going to review it. They leave Taiwan in to face another batter, which, I mean, at this point, his head's got to be in such a different or such a bad place. He walks that guy, and now the Mets are down 6 nothing with two on in the first, and the acting manager is going to come out and say, oh, you're all good. We'll pick you right up. And he's like, all right, yeah, pick me up. And then the Mets do pick him up. They strand him. They score seven themselves. They win the game. They don't get swept. And everything kind of gets erased because that's a hell of a win by them. Man. (laughs) This one's brought to you by DraftKings. And I got a hot tip for you. Download the DraftKings app. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do. Go to the sportsbook. And if you want to place a bet on the Mets on Sundays, keep in mind that they have seven wins and seven losses on Sundays. And uh, the fact that it's a Sunday doesn't matter at all. You should look further into who's pitching in the lineups and where they're playing and, and all that other stuff. Don't solely bet because of the day of the week because they're, they're exactly 500 on Sundays now.